Are you aware that plants also carry out gaseous exchange? And how do they carry out this gaseous exchange? Hello learners, Alex Nachivinge is my name and I'm your facilitator in this lesson. If you recall in the previous lesson, we described an experiment to show that a small animal produces carbon dioxide during exhalation. By the end of this lesson, we should be able to describe the process of gaseous exchange in plants. Well, let's look at this process in detail. You would wonder, these plants do not have specialized or complex gaseous exchange organs or surfaces, just like animals. We have just looked at animal gaseous exchange and they have complex gaseous exchange surfaces and organs, like man has the lungs, but these plants do not have them. Gaseous exchange in plants occurs majorly through the stomata. Well, what is stomata? Stomata are found in almost all leaves, especially on the lower surface of the leaves for the terrestrial plants. These stomata are small microscopic openings that are guarded by the guard cells. These guard cells have the thick inner walls and the thin outer walls, which control the opening and closing of the stomata. In other words, they control the stomato aperture. The guard cells do have chloroplasts. These chloroplasts trap sunlight energy, carry out photosynthesis, make sugars, and these sugars availed within the guard cells are very important in the control of the opening and closing of the stomata. Stomata are always numerous, especially in the terrestrial plants, because that's where majorly the exchange of gases takes place within the cells. Some old trees have got what we call the lent cells. These lent cells are green-like structures that look as if they're going to develop into their branches, but they remain green. These lent cells are also surfaces for gaseous exchange in these mature woody plants. Some plants have lent cells, and these ones are mostly found on the backs of these woody plants. They look like as if they're going to develop into branches, but they remain green forever. And those are the lent cells where gaseous exchange can take place. There are some other plants which grow in mud, muddy waters, where saturation of oxygen is very difficult. These plants develop the breathing roots. For example, the white and the red mangroves. These breathing roots are aerial roots that come above the ground to extract oxygen from the uh, around or the neighboring water atmosphere, majorly from the humidity around, because they get it in the form of moisture. Those are the three surfaces for gaseous exchange in these plants. In summary, we have described the process of gaseous exchange in these plants. We have realized that gaseous exchange majorly in plants takes place across the stomata found under the lower surface of the leaf. And in conclusion, we have also discovered that these plants do not have the complex and special gaseous exchange surfaces like animals. Thank you.